Hey guys, it's Matheus Santana and today after 200 million years I'm back for a new video. I think this is one of my most special ones because we are visiting Prema. That is the city of the movie Call Me By Your Name and I'm really really excited to see it because I'm really a fan of the movie and the book of course that is here in my hand. I'm really a fan of the movie because of course it's because it's an LGBT story but the most strong point, the strongest point of the movie is that it's not a cliche story. Even though it's in the past, it's not like we're gonna see a boy that is suffering to come out and the family that don't accept that him or whatever. It's a completely different movie. It's a completely different way to tell LGBT stories. And I think it's really nice because we see so many sad things. We see so many sad stories about LGBT people dying and all those things. And in this movie things are sweeter, things are a little bit better, and I really, really like the way they made it. We just arrived at Crema, and I don't know what to expect to, but we're going to the area where they first arrived at Crema, that is like 12 minutes walking from the center station, that is where we kind of are, and where we park the car. Let's go. It's really funny because when you watch a movie, you always think you're gonna recognize everything when you go to the city of the movie, but I'm here in Crema and I feel like, wow, this is not part of the movie, but of course it's not part of the movie because in a movie they record like certain areas and they want to show certain aspects of the city and everything. And especially in Call Me By Your Name, I think one of the things that were more remarkable for me was like definitely the photography. I think it's really beautiful how they put everything and then I really feel like I'm in past when I'm watching the movie because of the photography and of course the city will be a little bit different because it's not the movie, it's the city. So yes, we are here finally in the center of Prima and it's a really an amazing experience. We just met a woman that she's a kind of like a tour guide tour and she was like saying that she's also a big fan and she brings people to tours and she can borrow bikes, she can show everything. It was really nice but we kind of already have all the destinations and all the places to go so it's not a big deal for us. But if you ever come to Crema and you want to visit the Call Me By Your Name locations, you have someone to do that and she's Shirley, I think that's her name. I also have her Instagram that is FF since 2018 and she posts many pictures of Call Me By Your Name so stay tuned. <laughs> Guys remember Elio by bike here? It's just so cool that we are here. I'm just really speechless to be here because I would just think about like Elio cycling here for example and all those things. That, it's really hard to describe, but it's really amazing. I love the city already, and I don't know, just let's see more, let's look more of the city. But you guys don't think it's amazing, because it's really amazing, right? I don't care if people look at me, I don't care about anything. I'm in the comic by the city. Look how cool is this, that you can become the protagonist of the movie and do just like Elio and Oliver and sit there and take a selfie, for example, and sent to whatever info point of crema but we are in front of the table that they were sitting we can sit in the same chair as them it's just so crazy i'm gonna sit there right now yeah i'm sitting here it's crazy i just wanted to alert you guys that if you want to come to crema i don't know if monday is the best day because some things are closed, for example, the, the dance floor place that they record, the dance part, and also the info point. So Monday's not the best day, but still, we are here, so who cares? Now we are trying to find a place that they were like kind of sort of walking hand in hand, and that really remarkable wood ball that they uh, barely, uh, they almost kiss and stuff. So I think it's somewhere near here. It's just so cool. I'm repeating everything, but who cares? It's, it's amazing. We are here guys and it's just so crazy that they were doing this exactly in this place that I am and I don't think it's as magical as in the movie because it's, it's just different when you see a picture you see the movie but in real life it's just really cool and I really want to do a similar picture with Corne that is recording right now so I guess we're gonna try. To do this we have a, a tripod, who cares about the rest, wait a bit, let's do this. So this is basically a tutorial on how to make a Tumblr picture. No. I really wish 
I was not shy and could ask for someone to take a picture of us or whatever. But I'm too shy for that, I guess. Maybe if, if we hold like this and then we are doing it. I think we can do this, right? Yeah, let's try. You guys are not gonna see it because we just have one phone. But I maybe put a picture here. I feel like I'm in a discovery, hunting, whatever program and then I'm just my camera, audios and all those things, trying to find the places of coming by your name and it's just really cool. Maybe I'm the Brazilian Shane Dawson or something like that. And we're gonna find, we're gonna find nice places. <laughs> it's definitely a fact that I don't know everything by heart because I just watched the movie like two times and I saw and I read the book one time. So I'm probably passing through like many iconic areas, many important parts of the movie and not recognizing because I have a bad memory. I'm kind of like the, Dory of Finding Nemo, but yeah, it is still an amazing experience and I think everyone that ever watched the movie should definitely come here because it's really good. It's really good and it's not, not just for the Comedy by Your Name fans, but for everyone. Crema is a really nice city. We are here in the place of the dance floor and unfortunately, like I told you, it's closed in, during Monday so we can't go inside. But I have an impression that I feel, I felt like it looks, it doesn't look that nice in real life in the, this one. And I feel like when we, you watch the movie, you see the inside and you feel like, oh my God, it was such a nice party in such a nice place. But then this looks like just old and a little bit bad, but not bad. That was my least favorite part of the city so far. Here we are in Pangino, that is 15 minutes by car from Crema and this is also a place that we have a really remarkable scene of Oliver and Elio was just explaining what is this sculpture and then he knows everything. It's, a, it's kind of funny because in the movie it feels like everything is really close to each other and you can go by bike everywhere but then in real life you have to take your car and then it's not as close as you you would imagine but it's, it looks really cool right I just love that I just love to be in this movie to be part of it it's just a really really nice well, you seem to know more than anybody else around here well if you only knew how little I know about the things that matter what things that matter you know what things so we are at Fontanilli 40 in one of the most iconic scenes of Call Me By Your Name. That was their first kiss, first grab, if you know what I mean. And it's one of the most beautiful scenes i ever seen and I really love it. I, I didn't knew that we would walk like this barefoot, but I guess it's worth it. It's a really beautiful place. I already can see it's beautiful from here. I already wanted to say that we won't be able to record in all the all the places of the movie, as for example, the house that they recorded. You can't really enter there. They are apparently selling it for more than 2 million euros or something like this. I'm not sure, but I think it's that's the price and it's really crazy, but I think I would love to live there. I would pay even 5 million euros if I could. But, oh my god, my feet is hurting so much. And I wanted to put my flip flops now, but I think my feet is disgusting. In a movie, when it's a romantic scene, we don't think that those things are happening. But in real life, your feet hurt. It's not as glamorous as in a movie, but it's still as fantastic as in a movie. Because I truly feel like that I'm part of the scene. I'm tr I truly feel that I'm part of the movie. And it's incredible, right? This is the place that we have to pass. I guess it's not legal, but who cares? I hope they don't bring us to jail. I live in the Netherlands, I don't live in Italy, so I guess it would be really bad if I go to jail in Italy because I don't even know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna live. But let's see how it looks. I feel like Elio right now. This totally looks like the place we're gonna die. I already see everywhere in the news. Tourists die, dies trying to find the Call me by your name dream, that's how I feel. But it was Elio's favorite place, so I guess it's worth it trying and dying in this romantic environment. <laughs> oh my god, is it here already? I totally see myself falling here. You're recording, Stu? Oh my god. Elio, why you did this to me? I'm scared, guys. I don't think I should do this. Wait a bit. Ow! I think something bite me. I think 
think I'm gonna die. Finish the video. We are here in the Elliot and Oliver spot, the spot that they first kissed and everything. And my first impression is this water is just frozen. I feel like it's zero degrees, and I, with my feet here, and I will never put my body on it. It's really, really cold water. The place is not as hidden as Elliot told us, and I don't think it was ever hidden because there's many people here, and it's not even easy to to come. And I don't think they are coming by any chance. You think these guys are coming by any chance? No, they are not but it is still a really nice place. It's really good to be part of this story. It's really good to be in this environment. It's really good to be in Italy. And I'll be forever grateful for what this movie taught me. It's a really, really good movie. I would say that everyone should watch it. It's, it's really incredible. And I hope you guys like this video because I love to record it. Bye.